My mom comes from a region which is predominated by Rajasthani culture and gatte ka saag is eaten on a regular basis over there. So this is the recipe I'm going to share with you and for that I'm going to start with boiling some water first. I'm going to boil a lot of water and I'm also going to add just a little bit of salt. So now I'm going to make the dough for the gattas. For that I'm going to use besan that is gram flour. I'm going to season it with some salt, red chili powder, turmeric powder, some asafoetida and some ajwain seeds. some oil a little bit of yogurt and now i'm going to mix everything together and make a nice soft dough i'm also going to add a little bit of water to bind everything together it's quite a messy affair but this dough is ready I'm going to apply a little bit of oil on my hands otherwise the dough is going to keep sticking to my hands and I'm also going to grease the board. I'm going to take a small portion of the dough and then roll it onto this board. I'm just going to cut this into half because such a big roll is not going to fit in my pot of water. And the gatta rolls are ready. The water has come to a complete boil and I'm going to drop these rolls very carefully in the water and let it boil for at least 10 to 12 minutes. Just let the gattas boil for 15 to 20 minutes and you can poke a knife and check whether they are cooked. I'm going to mix all the ingredients in the curd mixture. For that I have some fresh yogurt or curd and now I'm going to season the curd with adding all the spices so that it mixes properly. Turmeric powder, red chili powder, I've tweaked it a little bit by adding a little bit of achar masala or dry pickle powder. It's my variation. Gram flour and salt. Let's whisk all this together. Make sure there are no lumps of the yogurt. If you feel the need to toss them around, just toss them once so that it evenly cooks from all the sides. Let's get these rolls out of the water. drain out all the water Don't get rid of this water because I'm going to use that Let the gattas cool down for a few minutes and then I'm going to cut them into slices till then let's just make the tadka for the curd mixture I'm going to heat a little bit of ghee you can even use oil if you want Once the ghee is nice and hot I'm going to add a couple of cloves some ajwain seeds just one dry boria chili if you have some asafoetida and quickly add the curd mixture mix everything properly and i'm also going to add the water in which the gattas were boiling let this boil for a couple of minutes till then i'm going to quickly slice the gattas Now I'm going to add these gattas into the curd mixture. Just drop them in and let them boil for two three minutes. And just before turning off the flame, I'm going to add some coriander leaves, just a little bit for color. And this gatte ka saag is ready. This simple and traditional recipe can be a nice addition to your menu. Do try this at home and don't forget to subscribe.